today. Do you have time to waste? Because if you don't, then do not start your actuarial journey by taking an exam. Do not, do not, do not. Here's the problem. Usually when someone decides they want to become an actuary, the very first thing they do is they decide to study and pass an actuarial exam. It makes sense because when you learn about the actuarial career, all you hear about is exams, exams, exams. So it seems like the best choice to pass an actuarial exam. But that's not the best approach and actually doing it that way can make your actuarial journey way longer than it needs to be and usually you're not even as well qualified by the end so it's an inefficient method I'm Bria associate of the Society of Actuaries and leader of the actuary accelerator community so first let's take a look at what most future actuaries do when they start their actuarial journey so usually the first about six months are spent studying for their very first exam and then the next four months are spent studying for their second exam and sometimes they go ahead and pass a third exam and that takes about four months as well and then they say, yay, I have passed three exams, now I can start applying for actuarial positions. So they start doing that, but they hear crickets from the employers. They even maybe get some of those dreaded rejection emails. So they start to look for solutions. They ask, what should I do? And usually they discover that they need to improve their technical skills. They discover that they need to learn Excel. Now, if they do that, usually it takes about two months, if you're doing it right, to really learn Excel and a programming language. And when I say doing it right what I mean is that you not only take a course in Excel but you also do some practice projects that are really going to help demonstrate to employers that you know what you're doing in Excel and you can take it even one step further by going out into real businesses and corporations and actually doing projects in Excel for them that are going to help them in some way now after they've done this they go and start applying for jobs again thinking that with the exams and the technical experience they've got everything they need but still they hear crickets from employers employers. They start to wonder, what am I doing wrong? Then sometimes they find this channel, hopefully one of the videos where I talk about stepping stone positions like this one or this one or maybe this one. In all of those videos, I talk about stepping stone positions because they are so important in helping you get related experience that employers are going to value. So once a candidate finds a stepping stone position, they can start gaining some related experience. And usually during this time, they continue to apply for actuarial positions, but they don't tend to really get much interest from employers until they've at least completed about four months of experience in that stepping stone position. So overall, that's six months to pass their first exam, four months to pass the next one, four more months to pass the third one, then two months to learn the technical skills that they need, and then at least four months of related experience in a stepping stone position. That in total is about 20 months, at least 20 months, just in order to get your first actuarial job. Now, because I've done this myself and I have helped hundreds of other aspiring actuaries, I've been able to look back on my past and see what was beneficial and what should I have done differently. And that's why today I recommend a completely different approach than this in the Actuary Accelerator community. I recommend this approach because one, it helps you become a top actuarial candidate much, much quicker than you would using the other approach. And two, because you're actually much more qualified with this other approach than you would be with the prior approach that I talked about. And actually, this is the exact approach that Emma, who I interviewed a few months ago now, used to get her first actuarial job as well. So here's what she did and what I highly recommend you do as well when you start out your actuarial journey. First, you go and learn Excel, okay? Excel is so important to know in any actuarial position. So you'll want to spend time focusing on that. And like I said, it's going to take about one to two months to fully understand Excel and get good enough that your skills are actually really valuable. You want to not only take a course, but you also want to do some projects to prove your skills to employers. Then next, you're going to get a stepping stone position to help you gain some related experience that actuarial employers will value. And you're going to need the technical skills that you learned previously in order to get a good stepping stone position. So that's why I recommend technical skills first and then stepping stone position. Then while you're working in your stepping stone position, that's when you can go ahead and pass your actuarial exam. It might take you again six months to pass your first exam and then another four months to pass your second exam But that means that by the time you have passed those two exams You also have ten months of related experience now you see how with this method There's no wasted time you can overlap your stepping stone experience with passing exams and learning everything else You need in order to become a top actuarial candidate and 
And as a result, you're only taking about 12 months of your time in order to become qualified for an entry level actuarial position instead of 20 like you would use in the previous approach that I talked about. Now, if you are someone that would like to get an actuarial job in just 12 months instead of 20, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Okay, and now I think it's important to specify here that the reason that this approach is much quicker is not only because it's more efficient, you're doing two things at the same time, but it's also because you usually don't have to pass that third exam in order to get the job. So many of our Actuary Accelerator community members have been able to become top candidates and get a job with just two exams passed, sometimes even just one. And actually there was one case where they had zero exams passed. So this approach really does allow you to become a far better candidate than you would be if you use the approach that I talked about first, where you take actuarial exams first. I mean, you're going to have 10 months of experience instead of four. That means you have 10 months of getting familiar with working in a corporate environment instead of just four. It means that you've become a better communicator because you've been working for 10 months instead of four. It means you've had more time to dedicate towards learning actuarial terms and concepts. And in terms of your actuarial exams, yes, you will have two exams passed instead of three, but I've said it many times before that there are diminishing returns on your actuarial exams. Having three exams passed doesn't necessarily significantly increase your chances of getting a job compared to if you just have two when you are a top candidate and have all of these other qualifications that employers are looking for as well. And the six extra months of experience, skills, knowledge that you're going to gain from your stepping stone position far exceeds the value that you would be able to bring to an employer by passing one more actuarial exam. I've said in other videos that yes, the concepts on early actuarial exams are sometimes used in the real world, but you're far more likely to be using those skills that you learn in a stepping stone position compared to most of the concepts that are taught on the early actuarial exams. So that's why related experience is more highly valued than an extra exam. Now this approach goes against what most people will tell you. Whenever someone hears you want to become an actuary, the first thing they're usually going to say is take an exam. You have to take an exam. And I hate that advice. I do not agree with it at all because it's really not in the best interest of someone that wants to get an actuarial job as quickly and efficiently as possible. And let's face it, that's pretty much everyone, right? Why would you want to spend 20 months pursuing this instead of 12 if you didn't have to, right? So let me know down in the comments, which of these approaches do you think is the best? Do you agree with me and believe that learning Excel and your technical skills and really developing those first is the best, most efficient way to go? Or do you think that taking actuarial exams is probably the best way to start your actuarial journey? Let me know down in the comments. Obviously, you know what I think, but I'd love to know what you think about this too. Now, in this video, you have learned and hopefully agree that starting by learning Excel and a programming language is the most important thing to do to start your actuarial journey off on the right foot. So, of course, we have all the resources you need for that in the Actuary Accelerator community. So, what if I give you a coupon code to get your first month in the Actuary Accelerator community for free? That means you'll get access to our entire Excel and VBA course. VBA is a programming language that will allow you to automate tasks in Excel. And you'll also get access to our six different Excel projects that you can use to practice what you learn in the course and apply it to real actuarial projects. And these are great things you'll be able to add to your resume and talk about during interviews. Our members have said over and over again that they have been able to bring up these Excel actuarial projects that they completed as an AAC member and talk about them during interviews. And they really impressed employers. When I finally got an, an actuarial interview, I was able to explain those projects to the my current employer. And um, they were really impressed by um, how like what I knew and what I knew how to do and that I had proof that I knew how to do it. So many candidates are out there applying for jobs and they have never once done any Excel project, never mind an actuarial project. So these are great ways to connect with employers and really prove that you have what it takes to complete the tasks that they need you to complete on the job. So if you want to get your hands on those Excel actuarial projects, make sure you join the Actuary Accelerator community and get your first month for free. All you have to do is go to etched actuarial.com slash accelerator and then you can use coupon code start s-t-a-r-t to try it out and get your first month for free that is all for this week happy new year and i will see you next tuesday bye for now